The biggest thing that real personal growth will give you is what you're doing is not right. Today we're going to be talking about why pain is a good thing. Now, most people when they hear this, they think, why would pain be a good thing? How is it possible for pain to be a good thing? Pain is a motivator for you to go into the direction that you need to. Pain is always telling you something. So the question that you need to ask yourself is what is the pain trying to tell me? Think about this for a second. You know, let me say for instance that, uh, you know, if you think of, of pain being a bad thing, pain is really just uh, your brain receiving a message to stop doing what you're doing. You know, not, not to, to do the same thing over and over again, but to make a change, to do something different. I'll give you an example. Let's say you go ahead and you, you're inside of the kitchen and you accidentally lean back and you put your hand down. You just so happen to put your hand on the hot stove. That pain, it's a motivator to click your brain into action to move. Not to stay in the same exact position because you're gonna get burned if you stay in the exact position. So what is the pain telling you? It's telling you to move to get away from the hot stove. It's protecting you. If you're walking, you know, and you're barefoot and you get onto hot cement in the middle of the summer and your feet start to burn, what is the pain telling you? Run, get out of the hot cement, get away from where you are because you are currently in the wrong position. You know, if you're sitting down all day long and you're sitting there and your back starts to ache, what is the pain trying to tell you? The pain is telling you to get up because what you're currently doing is not good for your body. It's making your back ache. It's putting all of your joints in a bad position. It is telling you to get your ass up and move, right? The pain is telling you that you need to move, to get out of the current position that you're in, to do something different than what you're currently doing. At its simplest form, pain is a messenger telling you to move to do something different, to stop doing the same things that you have been doing. But what happens though with a lot of people is when they feel pain in their life, they feel demotivated. They don't wanna do anything. Oh God, I just have so much frustration and so much worry and so much anxiety and it holds them back. So pain, instead of motivating them like it should, if they listen to it, it actually paralyzes them. You have to think about it this way. Pain is trying to tell you something. Pain is telling you, you know, worry, sadness, frustration, all of those pains. What are they telling you? You know, if you've experienced worry or sadness or frustration or anxiety or fear or any of those in the past week or two weeks, what is it trying to tell you? The universe is always trying to speak to you. The question is, are you actually listening? You know, it might be telling you, you know, that you need to get your ass moving. It might be telling you that the road that you're going down is the wrong road and you need to go a different direction. It might be telling you to stop doing what you're doing. It might be telling you to hurry up. It might be telling you to make a change. It's telling you that what you're doing is not right and that you need to make a change. You know, if your friend is sitting there and they're poking themselves in the eye and they're going, oh my God, this hurts so much. This hurts so much. And they're poking themselves in the eye. What are you going to tell them to do? Stop. Why? Because poking themselves in the eye is what's causing them pain. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. If you're going to tell your friend to stop poking themselves in the eye because it's causing so much pain, and then you're sitting in your life and you have pain and worry and frustration and anger and sadness and anxiety, what are those trying to tell you? Stop poking yourself in the eye. Stop doing the same thing. Stop doing it. Do something different. Why don't you get the message? It's right there. It's so clear. But the question is, are you listening? You know, stop doing what you're doing. Make a move. Go a different direction. It's God or the universe or whatever you believe in telling you that what you're doing is not right in a perfect example that, that one of my team members told me a couple days ago is it's the feather, the brick, or the truck, right? And he was talking about a guy who was in prison and you know, there's the feather, there's a brick, and there's a truck. And so the feather is like the universe coming up and just kind of, you know, on the back of your neck, just, you know, putting a little bit of, little bit of feather, you know, tickling the back of your neck saying, hey, hey, maybe you shouldn't be doing this. Maybe you shouldn't be doing. And then if you don't listen, you don't listen, you don't listen, it's gonna get a little bit louder. It's gonna get a little bit louder. It's going to, little bit get, going to get a little bit louder than that whisper. Eventually, if you're not listening for long enough, what's it going to do? It's going to take the brick. And what's it going to do? It's going to hit you over the side of the head with it. And then maybe you don't listen and you don't listen and you don't listen. 
And then what's going to happen? The freaking truck's going to come. It's the universal smackdown. What I always tell people is that the universe speaks to you in whispers. But if you don't listen for long enough, it'll get louder and louder and louder and louder until something, some massive message has to come by and smack you in the side of the face. It could be that you get sick. It could be that someone you love gets sick. It could be that you get into a car accident. You have a massive injury. It could be that someone that you love gets into a massive injury or maybe they die, whatever it is. The universe is always speaking to you. But the question is, are you actually listening to it? You know, if you have massive amounts of anxiety, I feel bad for you, but also are you listening to that? What is it that you're trying to, what is it that you're not doing right that you need to make different? You know, and, and I've, I've been there before. I know what the massive feelings of anxiety feel like. And it always comes when I'm not doing what I'm truly supposed to be doing. Because pain is a message. It's the message that you're not doing the right thing. It's a message that you need to change. It's a message that you need to shift. So many people feel that pain and it paralyzes them. And I'm sure you've been there. I've been there before where I feel the pain. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so worried. I don't know what I'm supposed to do at this point. And I start to feel bad about it. And then I start to judge myself. Holy shit. That's where I really start to get crazy, right? Where you not only feel bad about something, but then you judge yourself for feeling bad or you judge yourself for being anxious or you judge yourself for worrying or you judge yourself for your frustration versus actually looking at it and going, okay, this is a problem. I need to solve it. It's just like a puzzle. Let me put this puzzle together and figure out what it is versus looking at the puzzle and going, oh my God, it's a puzzle. Oh my God, I'm going to judge myself so much for this puzzle. And I'm not just speaking about physical pain as well. I'm talking about emotional pain. I'm talking about intellectual pain as well. You know, emotional pain, relationships. Maybe you feel emotional pain. Maybe the relationship that you're in is done and you've been trying to keep it alive for too long. Maybe the, the friendships that you have have been done for years and you've been trying to keep them around for too long. But for some reason, every time you're around them, what do you feel? Do you feel pain? Do you feel worry, frustration, anxiety, fear? That's the universe saying, hey, buddy, it's time to move on. Go to the next, you know, you've, you've got what you can here. It's time for you to move on. There's more for you out there. You guys have learned your lesson with each other. Maybe it's the friendships. When you're around them, do you feel anxious? Do you feel fear? Do you feel worry? Maybe it's people that are inside of your family. Oh God, that one's hard, isn't it? Oh my God, my family's like this. It's really hard to get away from your family. I'm not saying divorce your family or anything like that. But what I am saying is, can you spend a little bit time, less time with the people in your family that make you anxious and worried and sad and frustrated? Because that pain is a messenger. What is it trying to tell you? And are you listening? That's a great question as well. It's going to speak to you in a whisper and it's going to get louder and louder. This is the reason why I truly believe in meditating as much as possible, as hard as it is, as it is to sit down and meditate. When I sit down and meditate for long enough, it's like I start to notice things. I get really great ideas, really great insights of things that I should shift or move about my life. And I get this intuitive hit of like, yeah, this is right. You probably should make a change in your life, Rob. And if I don't listen, it gets louder and louder and louder and louder. And then what happens? It smacks you, it smacks you with the brick. And then what happens? If you don't listen for long enough, you get the universal smackdown and get hit by a truck. And some of you out there listening, you know what I'm talking about. You felt the whispers. You've heard them. And they get a little, you're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Get a little bit louder. And they get a little bit louder, a little bit louder. And then they get way louder. And then they come and they smack you. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor and hit that like button down below. It helps with the YouTube algorithm so that more people can see this message because it helps us get it out organically. So hit that like button and I appreciate you. And where the whole, you know, the, the feather, the brick, the truck came from, one of my team members I was telling you about, he had a, a, a friend that was a drug dealer and his drug dealer, you know, the, the guy who was a drug dealer, not my friends, not my, not, not my team members drug dealer, but the guy who was a drug dealer that he'd known for a long time, his dad was in prison and his dad told him, hey, you know, this is the, this is the way it works. It's the, the, the feather, the brick, and then it's the, you know, the, the, uh, the truck. And he goes, I got the truck because I didn't listen for long enough. And then so his friend that was a drug dealer, what happened? Okay, so he started getting whispers, you know, start, things started happening. He started getting these ideas and maybe I shouldn't be dealing drugs. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. And then what happened? One day his entire house got raided by the police. Good thing was, he didn't have any drugs in the house. So they raided him and he didn't get in trouble for it because he didn't have any drugs inside of the house. He knew at that point, that was the brick. And if he didn't listen anymore, he was eventually gonna be in the same place as his dad. 
he was going to be in prison and he didn't want to get hit by the truck so what do you do he stopped dealing drugs because he knew that the police coming in was the universe going hey buddy you better freaking listen because if you don't listen it's about to get really bad and so there's the emotional pain as i just spoke about a minute ago and then there's the intellectual pain you have to realize there's a ton of intellectual pain it's the pain of not you know it's the pain of knowing that you're not living your purpose oh, man that one can hurt can it the pain of knowing that you're not living your purpose it could be the pain of knowing that you're with the wrong person the pain of knowing that the relationship you're in is over but you're not leaving it it's the pain of knowing that you're wasting your one life at a job that you hate but you won't leave it's that pain because you're afraid of what could happen if you do leave and so it gets louder and louder and louder you know and and how much that can destroy your energy and who you are to go and work a job that you hate every single day i've seen it before i know you've seen it before someone that shows up and shows up and shows up at a job that they hate every single day and it eats away at them every single day and it makes them bitter and it makes them not the same person not the same joyful loving great person that they were because they just resent every aspect of their life because they're wasting their life at a job that they hate don't get there don't allow yourself to get there. It's the anxiety, the worry, the frustration, the fear, all of those things. It's the universe speaking to you. You're getting messages at all times. Are you listening to them? That's what you have to think. It's the, 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 the fear of stepping into who you know that you really should be. And it's not something that has to paralyze you. You've just got to become very self-aware. The biggest thing that's, that, that real personal growth will give you is self-awareness. And more people in this world need more self-awareness as to how the actions that they take and don't take affect themselves and the world around them. Think about that. The actions that you take and don't take are affecting yourself and everyone else that you come in contact with. What is it that you want? It shouldn't paralyze you. When you feel the feelings next time of the pain, the anxiety, the frustration, the fear, whatever it is, the intellectual pain, the, the emotional pain, whatever it is, go, okay, it doesn't feel good right now. Of course it doesn't feel good right now. But go, okay, what is this pain, this worry, this frustration, this anxiety, all of those things, what is it trying to tell me? There's a freaking message in here. I know there is. And you've got to sit down with a pen and paper and say, what is the message that I'm trying to get? What is the message that the universe is trying to give me? And here's the thing. When you're highly emotional, you know, if something goes really wrong, that's not the right time to try to process. Because when emotion is high, logic is low. When your emotion is high, your prefrontal cortex, which is the thinking part of your brain, shuts off, which means you don't make good decisions when you're pissed off. You ever been in a relationship? You get really pissed off and you say something you don't mean. And then later on, you're like, oh, damn, I shouldn't have said that. Right? Reason why is because emotions are high. Logic is low. Prefrontal cortex was shut off. I'm saying something I don't truly mean. Now I got to go and backtrack. And so if I feel intense amounts of pain and worry and frustration and anxiety and fear, got to take some deep breaths. I got to work through it. I got to let my body feel the feelings. Don't resent the feelings. Don't try to push them away. Feel the feelings. Work through the feelings. Do what you got to do. And then after that's all over, sit down with a pen and paper and go, what am I feeling? And write it down. I'm feeling pain, intellectual pain around what my life is and what it's become. I don't want it to be that anymore. I'm feeling emotional pain because I'm realizing that this relationship is not supposed to be going this way. I shouldn't be with this person. I shouldn't be hanging out with that person, whatever it is. You write down what you're feeling and you go, what am I supposed to learn from this? There's a message in any pain that you have. But the question is, are you listening? Because if you don't listen for long enough, something bad could happen. And I don't say that to try to fear monger or anything like that. I just know from experience, I didn't listen to the universe for a long freaking time. And it smacked the shit out of me. That's what it did. <laughs> and that's, that's what it does. And that's okay. But it woke me up. And then I went, you know what? I've got to make a move. I've got to do something different. The life that I'm currently living is not the life that's bringing me full joy and fulfillment. What happened? I was in a state of depression. I was injured all the time. I wasn't, you know, I, I was trying to take care of myself, but it didn't seem like anything was going forward. It was all going backwards. Have you ever been in a situation where you're just sitting there and you're working hard and working hard and working hard, but you just feel like you're spinning your wheels and nothing's going the way that you want? Maybe you're spinning your wheels trying to go the wrong direction. And the universe is going, no, dude, I'm not going to let you go that way. You're not going the right way. It's time for you to back up. The universe is always speaking to you. You gotta get a pen and paper. 
You got to write down, what am I feeling? Next thing you got to figure out is what am I supposed to learn from this? Because the universe is always speaking to you. Pain is not a bad thing. Pain is a good thing. Pain is a motivator. Pain is a messenger. But you have to ask yourself, what is this pain trying to tell me? Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. The life that you want is on the other side of the discomfort. The life that you have is on this side of discomfort.